The men taking the two top jobs in the army have been announced following General Sir David Richard's appointment as Chief of Defence Staff. The new Chief of the General Staff is General Sir Peter Wall and Lieutenant General Sir Nick Parker will be promoted to General and become the Commander-in-Chief Land Forces. They'll take over in September. Richard Jones has the details. General Sir Peter Wall takes the well-trodden path from his current job as Commander-in-Chief Land Forces to the MOD and the Chief of the General Staff's Office. General Wall's a sapper and came to prominence in a series of high-profile roles on Optelic in Iraq. After serving in the headquarters during the invasion, he then dealt with the aftermath, becoming Commander Multinational Division Southeast in Basra, before returning to Germany to head WAMDIV. He'll have to oversee the continuing operations in Afghanistan amid clear signs that the new government is anxious to start bringing home the British contingent. He had some strong words to say about NATO solidarity at the Land Warfare Conference last month. And commitment means full participation, sharing the heavy lifting, doing the spectrum of tasks, and for the, in most cases this is going to mean uh, boots on the ground in sufficient mass. Meanwhile, the new Commander-in-Chief Land Forces, Lieutenant General Sir Nick Parker, has become a familiar face as the Deputy Commander of ISAF in Afghanistan. He's faced some personal challenges during his time. His son was badly injured on operations in the country, and then his boss, General Stanley McChrystal, was sacked. General Parker's an infantryman and was Commander of 20th Armoured Brigade in Germany in the late 1990s. He's also held top appointments in Iraq and Northern Ireland. Richard Jones, Forces News.